Welcome to Airport Reviews Season 4. The series in which I review your model airport. And I've got cool news because it's not too late to register your model airport. After this video, you can register your airport using the link in the description and comment section. Just like in the previous seasons, we'll do a grand finale livestream at the end of the season, choosing one winning airport. Therefore, comment down below which model airport you see in this video you think deserves a spot in that grand finale. Now let's move on to airport number one. The next airport is Southern Manila International Airport located in the Philippines. It's a 1-400 to scale airport and it's got a very long terminal. He has a bunch of wide body aircraft and what I love about the airport are the palm trees on the side. They make it look very tropical. An idea could be to paint the base of the palm trees green so it nicely blends in with the grass. Furthermore, I think you can add some more ground markings. For example, a gate sign, which indicates which number gate it is. Going to Schiphol on Google Maps, you can see that they very nicely labeled the gates here, D14 and D16, for example. Some more ideas for ground markings are these circles in the ground. They mark the spot where fuel can be extracted from the pipes underground. Also, I see that you have jet bridges on your terminal. Around every jet bridge there is a red marked area, which is prohibited to enter with any vehicles, which you can also create on your model airport. And the last crowd marking that is quite hard to see are these different stands for different kinds of aircraft. A Boeing 747 stops earlier than a Boeing 737 at the gate. You can recreate this on your own airport. As you now don't have any stop markings for different kinds of aircraft. Next we take a trip across the Atlantic to the USA and we take a closer look at Palm Springs International Airport located in Palm Springs, California. A 1 to 400 scale airport which looks absolutely lovely in my opinion. He nicely created this round shaped terminal hosting a lot of American narrow body airlines. The ground markings look great and I like the gate sign over here, which is a really cool detail. Also, I'd like to point out the scenery around the airport. In the top right he has some flowers and a cactus. And also in the background here he has got some cactuses and palm trees. These scenery items add an extra sense of realism to the airport. And I would therefore recommend it to anyone who's building a model airport to add some trees, flowers and bushes. On Timu you can buy flowers, modeling grass and any kinds of scenery for quite affordable prices. Next we take a look at Basel International Airport located in Basel in Switzerland. This is a 1 to 500 scale airport which has some really cool details which I'd like to show you. Starting off in the foreground he added taxiway signs. They indicate what taxiway you're on and which taxiway you're about to enter. They are quite easy to make and to find online as an example. And definitely a cool and realistic detail that every airport should have. Also he recreated an emergency on the airport as this Jazeera Airbus A320neo has a left engine fire and the fire brigade is there to extinguish the fire. And another cool detail on this airport is the background of the city skyline of Basel. He printed it out and stuck it in the back of his airport, which is way nicer than just a plain white wall. And also I think it adds to the realism of the photos, as the lovely skyline here in the background adds an extra effect to the airport, which is really cool to see. So overall, I think we're looking at a very nice model airport here. Next, we go to Seattle and take a look at Seattle Michael International Airport. It's a 1 to 400 scale airport, also featuring some Darren aircraft. He's built an airport with some good looking ground markings. Consider adding the concrete tiles on the concrete right here. In the airport's hangar is Air Force One and the hangar is nicely branded using the DHL and UBS logos. The terminal is built out of Legos and I think these are pieces of wood and what he has done very nicely is that he printed windows and stuck them to the front. Which is a really easy detail to add and it makes the terminal look much better than just a piece of wood. 
And lastly, make sure to optimize the space on the airport. There is a huge chunk of space over here unused. You could, for example, add taxiways here to the terminal or you could add some remote stands. Next, we take a quick look at ECO International Airport located in London in England. It's consisting of Darren Aircraft and I'd like to point out two unique features that he has on his airport. Starting with this windsock which he created using a wooden stick, some glue and a piece of paper, which he rolled and then stuck onto the wooden stick. This is a really nice addition to his model airport and it cannot miss on any model airport because it's really important to know where the wind is coming from on your airport. Also, he added an ILS localizer box and antennas on the side of the runway. This feature is on every big runway. And it indicates whether the aircraft is too high or too low for its approach to the runway. Furthermore, he has a lot of greenery and some lights on his airport which look lovely. My advice would be to add some ground service equipment and then your airport will look awesome. We stay in England and take a look at Pocklington City Airport in Hull, Yorkshire. It's a 1 to 400 scale airport based on Manchester Airport and it looks lovely. Some cool details that I'd like to point out are the tire marks on the runway. Whenever the aircraft touches down on the runway and its wheels make contact with the surface days and the wheels make contact to the runway surface, they leave some rubber tire marks and over time the runway gets black, which is a cool feature that he added. Furthermore, I like the difference in asphalt and concrete colors. It adds a nice mix to the airport and what I also like is that he added these cracks in the concrete. Going back to Schiphol on Google Maps, you can see the squared tiles. Going back to Schiphol on Google Maps, going back to Schiphol on Google Maps, you can see these rectangularly shaped tiles on the airport. As most airports which have a concrete surface consist of these huge tiles. Those he recreated very nicely and it's also cool to see that he added some cracks to them. Furthermore, there is a great amount of ground service equipment around all of the aircraft at the stands which look lovely. And overall, I think we're looking at a very nice model airport here. Next, we take a look at Palanga International Airport located in Lithuania. Palanga is located at the coast of Lithuania and he created an awesome airport for it. With the most awesome feature being the lights. Because when we move to nighttime, this is what the airport looks like. Absolutely lovely. He added lights inside of these runway center line, around all of the runway and taxiways, and also on the taxiway center line. And it looks incredible. Also, he added some floodlights at the aircraft stands. And inside the terminal are also a few LEDs. This just adds such a cool detail at night. And even though it's a bunch of work to install all of these lights, I can assure you it's 100% worth it, as this simply looks incredible. He also very nicely did the grout markings on the aircraft stands over here. And he's really optimizing all the space he has on his airport. Overall, I think we're looking at a very nice and maybe even grand finale worth airport. But that's all up to you. Here we have Rome International Airport located in Rome, obviously in Italy. It's a 1 to 400 skill airport which seems to be portable as he took it outside to create some awesome images. I really much like this image of this Cathay Pacific cargo being loaded. The interactive model opened the nose and its cargo door in which all of the cargo is being loaded. Which I think is still so cool to see. The lineup of aircraft here also looks very nice. A detail you could consider adding is some texture on the terminals, like some windows. For now it's just a plain grey surface. So by adding some windows you can create some more life in the terminal. But for the rest, I think he has got a lovely model airport. Next, we go back to the United Kingdom and take a look at Elizabeth Parkway Airport version 2. Located in North London, it's a 1 to 400 scale airport we have seen previously. And he added some really cool features to his airport, which I'm going to show you. First of all, he added advertisements on the jet bridges, which is a cool detail. 
Furthermore, he added the ILS box, more grout markings and also the rubber tire marks, taxiway signs, blast fences and also some floodlights. A whole list of things which are all very lovely to see. In the corner of his airport he has got the iconic Concorde on display, around which he built a nice parking lot with some trees and modeling grass. The ground surface equipment on his airport looks neat as well, he folded some out of paper, which is a really budget friendly option of course. And lastly he added this image of an Emirates Boeing 777 touching down on the runway with an awesome blur effect and smoke coming off the tires. And the final airport of today is Messi International Airport, built fully out of paper and cardboard. The aircraft together with the ground markings actually look quite good. And he has got loads of ground surface around the aircraft as well, which is a nice detail. In general, I'm not a big fan of airports with a cardboard surface. Yes, they are easy to draw on and yes, they are very budget friendly, Though they aren't as sturdy and they aren't nicely leveled. Also I think you can put a bit more work into the terminal. By for example coloring the windows blue and adding the gate signs also to the terminal. Though for the rest I think this is quite a decent paper model airport. And that brings us to the end of the first episode of season 4 model airport reviews. I hope you enjoyed the airports that you've seen today. It's not too late to register your airport for season 4, so be sure to do that using the link in the comments or description of this video. Then I'd like to thank you for watching all the way to the end of this video. Please consider to like and subscribe to my YouTube channel, and then I will see you in the next video.